Hello everybody, so today we are going to be going over the basics of Gorilla Tag. So this does not include skills on how to play the game, this is simply just how the game works. So, Gorilla Tag, as you can see in the mirror, I don't have legs. And it's because Gorilla Tag uses this thing called locomotive movement, where you move with your hands. Now, this has been done in other games, I'm pretty sure only up, the guy with the little hammer and the bucket and stuff. Uh, you use an object, so locomotive is any where you use like any body part or object to move. Um, and in this case, like I said, Girl Tag uses locomotive, so you move with your hands. So, like I said, I'm just gonna go over the basics. So we're starting off in store. So this is the store where you can buy cosmetics. So there's spirit wear. There's pins, and yes, every once in a while they come out with free stuff. Like, uh, these came out Pride Month. She, they, he badges, they are free. Um, and every update, uh, they come out with a free, free badge. This is this free badge for this update. Um, and over here is checkout. Self-checkout. Right here, um, is your shiny rocks, and it shows you your time until you get a hundred more. Every day you get... 100 daily shiny rocks and I'm currently on a new account so that's why I don't have a lot but most of the stuff here is like at least a thousand there are some things that are 500 but not many and there are also more things out here so over here is your wardrobe you can change your color you move these dials it used to be you had to type in the numbers but now they made it a lot easier you can see what the color looks like and if you have cosmetics then it gives you all of those. Here's the ATM where you can um, you begin. Uh, you can purchase and see your balance. Um, you don't have to go here to see your balance because I showed you earlier. You can go over there to self checkout and see. Purchase. Uh, this brings you, if you click one of these, it'll bring you to the MetaQuest store and it'll have you purchase some. Or not have you, but it'll like give you the option like, hey, do you want to? Um, so, there are 12 maps, um, so, this is forest, I'm not gonna be showing you guys all the maps, I'll just be naming them off, so, here is forest, beach is in a little tunnel over there, down there is caves, um, over here is canyons, this is my favorite map, also, sorry if you hear my dog bark, she tweaks out a lot, um, we passed it over here, this is clouds. This used to be attic where you could build with like Legos, but they closed it off. Um, so yeah, this is city, but uh, you can also call it store because it's where the store is. Up there's arcade. Back here is basement where uh, there's this maze thing with monsters in it, and you come, you become tiny. It's actually pretty fun. Up there is mountains. Down here, I don't know. I don't know what this is called. Because I've only been in it once, but I'm just gonna call it sewer because, well, what do you? Why do you think? But that sewer down there, it's actually a kind of bigger area. This down here is metro. It's just, it's just like city, but with like actual big buildings and a more open space. Because if you join a uh, city, this city on a public server, uh, there won't be tags. Oh, and down here is OG caves because there was caves in the stump. And that is, that's new caves. Down there is OG caves. So, let's go back to stump. So, this is where most of the stuff I'll be teaching you about is. So, game modes, there's casual, where there isn't any tagging. You could just mess around, practice. Um, infection, which is tag. So, when you get tagged, you'll become a lava monkey. Paintball, um, you'll have balloons over your head, and you'll have a slingshot, try to hit others' balloons. And Hunt, you have a little watch with a player in your server, and you have to go after them and tag them. And nobody starts out as a tagger, it's just, yeah, it's hard to explain. But, um, here is computer, have all these. So if you are in a public lobby, and yes I did spam, if you're in a public lobby, or like a private code, and you want to go back to a public lobby, you would click option one. Um, I don't want to do that right now, so I'm not going to. And if you ever forget, it says it right up top. 
Press option one to disconnect from current room. So let's say you're in a, a public, or not a public, a random private server, and you want to get back, just press option one. Okay, so that's the room. I'm current room. Play, it tells you the players in the room and the room to join. Name, uh, current name. This is my name. So it, um, so for example, it, it'll keep your current name. I'm getting rid of it, and it'll do that. And if you change your name, press enter, and that'll make it your name. Press option one to toggle name tags, um, or toggle name tags. It'll just turn them on and off. I actually have not used that. Color again. Uh, I both uh, options are available to use with the, you know, that stuff. So you can use the keyboard if you want, if you like it old fashioned, or you can do the easier method with the dials. Uh, turn. I don't know at all about this stuff, so you guys might have to watch a different video, or if you're playing for the first time, you could just go here. And again, with the arrows, use these to change these. Mic, I do know that, yeah. But I don't know much about this stuff. So you guys might have to watch another video or just read it if you get in. So, occasionally, maps will play music. Um, so in Forest, there's a speaker. Uh, you can mute it. It will just mute the music if there's any playing. I'm going to keep it muted. Um, and if you're in a map and you want to mute the music and you don't find a uh, like speaker anywhere, um, usually on the leaderboard there is an option to mute it. See, now I, like I said, I'm in a private code. So, but you can see. So, let's say someone's saying racial slurs. I know crazy... Uh, example but it happens all the time uh you can go right here there are pretty sure three or four report options three that i remember are toxicity uh cheating and um hate speech so you could report them there if they're being really annoying like let's say they have a soundboard which who who's using soundboards in october of 2024 i just started so bad then you can mute them and then it has player name and the code or color um and i'm pretty sure that's it so if you know you are if you currently just got an oculus or you know you're getting one i would highly recommend getting gorilla tag i mean it's completely optional um the a lot of the community can be mean but here soon i am going to be posting something that will go into that but uh, yeah, if you're, if you have an Oculus and you don't, if you're gonna get an Oculus, I highly recommend this game. There are other games that use locomotive, uh, movement, like, uh, Scary Baboon. I might do videos on that, but, uh, with Scary Baboon, I know I'm getting off topic, but, uh, with Scary Baboon, it's like a horror game. You get chased by monsters, and it's like Gorilla Tag, so if you like horror and Gorilla Tag, then I highly recommend that game. But anyway, thank you guys for watching, and just tell me if you want any more basics on any other games in VR. I'll see you guys in the next video.